I recently made a fish bridge for my Dumbo Beta. I love this setup since it provides two different homes for him to explore. He loves the extra real estate. After we create a tank, it looks beautiful. But what about a few weeks from now? I've received hundreds of messages asking about the cleaning process for my setups. So it's finally time to show and tell. Regular water changes are key for a beautiful, long-lasting setup. By blowing air into the bridge, we can equalize the pressure and remove the bridge. Once removed, we can begin the cleaning process. These tweezers are perfect for removing any algae buildup in your tank. This green, thread-like algae is called hair algae. My Amano shrimp love this tasty snack, but struggle to keep up, so I'm here to help. Next, we can collect any floating debris in the tank. This could be floating leaves from our aquatic plants or fish waste. By moving in a figure eight, we can make sure we don't lose what we've collected. Time to give our live plants a little haircut. By removing any soiled leaves, we allow for new growth to occur. This will also help to reduce the levels of nitrates in the water. Cosmo, that's not a snack. This is an algae pad. These sturdy pads can be used to quickly scrub algae from the nooks and crannies of your aquarium. This will be perfect for cleaning the bridge. It's acrylic safe, meaning it will not scratch the surface of the glass while we scrub away the unsightly mess. It's time to vacuum. I use a siphon to remove the smaller debris from the water and sand. It's always so satisfying to remove the buildup along the bottom of the tank. This is my favorite part of the cleaning process. Be sure not to remove all of the water in your tank. It's recommended to take about 25 to 30% of the water during a water change. This will help keep your parameters stable, which will keep your fish safe and happy. Don't forget about your filters. These sponge filters do collect dirt and debris, but also are full of beneficial bacteria. To clean them, gently squeeze in a bowl of tank water. We don't want to clean them entirely or else we'll lose the good stuff that our fish need to survive. Once they're clean, we can place them back into the tank. Let's clean the aquarium glass. This algae pad will help us remove the water stains from the glass. If you do this weekly, these stains will be easy to remove. This will make sure the tanks are super clear and beautiful. This algae scraper will help us in those lower surface areas of the tank. It's common for algae to build up along the glass. This makes it super easy to clean. Time for our finishing touches. Let's place the plants back to where they belong and do one final swoop with the net to make sure we caught all the floating debris. This root tab will help provide essential nutrients for plant growth. We're almost there. Let's wipe down the tanks and fill them back up. I always try to match the temperature of the new water with the tank water to keep the parameters stable and my fish happy. Don't forget to add your stress coat to both tanks. This helps make tap water fish safe and is essential when you perform any water changes in your aquariums. It's time to add the bridge. I use a tube to remove the air from the bridge. Look, the water level is rising in the bridge and out of both tanks. Let's remove the tube and turn our filters back on. Let's give Cosmo a snack for a job well done. Thanks for watching.